Hello guys, um, today we'll be talking about the, the third Goosebumps episode of Air, which would be, um, uh, I'm sorry, I should write the names down in the episodes, um, oh yeah, 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 um, the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, <laughs> um, yeah, the Cuckoo Cock of Doom. It aired uh, on November 3rd, 1995. It has a 7.6 out of 10 with about 200-ish IMDb voters. It stars John White. And funny enough, John White, he played Eric Stifler in two American Pie movies, Beta House and The Naked Mile, I believe. I'm familiar with both of them. They're not good movies, but it's kind of funny to see him. I never realized this till now that he played those two roles. Very interesting. And it also stars uh, Kristen Bone, and she played. She she was in. Uh, God, what? It... Oh, she voiced uh, some characters in Roly Poly Oli, the little kids animated show. Laundry. Um, it is directed by John Bell, who was one of the creators and directors of the SCTV Network, a very famous Canadian, uh, Canadian uh, skit show that ran in the early 80s. And it jump started a lot of people. It had it jump started John Candy, Rick Moranis, and a bunch of other people. It's, it's pretty, I haven't seen any. It didn't last long, but it was pretty good. Check it out on IMDb and see if you can find it anywhere. I know I would. But, um, yeah, this episode's pretty good. Oh, I have read most of the books. Most of the Goosebumps books I have read. And I should have mentioned, I should have compared the books to the TV. So, quickly, I'll talk about Honda Mask as compared to the books. Um, pretty good adaptation. Most, most of the multiple parters are very good at adapting from the books. It's only the half an hour ones that struggle with it. But Honda Mask, Honda Mask, did a good adaptation, as far as I remember. I'm not going to reread the books along with this, because that will take way too long. And I don't have all the books. I read all the Goosebumps books, except for the last two. But the last two were never adapted to the TV show, so I, it's fine. But, um, but yeah, I, as far as I recall, it adapted it pretty well. And Cuckoo Clock of Doom, uh, this one did pretty well. They cut out... They cut out some parts of the story, of course, but it makes sense, given the subject matter of... Um, of uh, time, so it works. Um, and it's not really scary. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the book was a. I think the book did a bit better job of being intense. I feel like this one is just a, it borderlines camp. A lot of episodes borderline camp, and this one kind of gets there, especially during a nightmare sequence. I want to take note though. I didn't look up the actor, but the kid plays the lead character when he's a certain age. Um, probably about six six years old version of him. I know spoilers, but whatever. It's it's fine. <laughs> but he does he is actually one of the better kid actors I've seen, actually. And you can you can disagree with me. I'm not an expert in acting, but based on what I've seen in King Actors, I watched a lot of kids shows when I was young and now right now. And and in other medias too. And I think he's one of the better ones. I should have looked him up see if he went anywhere, but refreshingly kind of good, I guess. Um, and yeah, um, it's an okay episode. It's 20 minutes, it gets the point across, and it's not, it's, there's not really, <laughs> there is a guy that asks the six-year-old version for the time, and he has a Edo vibe to him. It's kind of funny. And he kind of comes out of nowhere, too. It doesn't make any sense, but it's whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's just little things like that. But um, yeah, there's not much else I can say about it. It's it's okay. I'll watch it again if I have to, but it's not really. It's it's definitely not hot and mask. But um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about that episode. Not much. It's an okay episode. But not, not amazingly heart stoppingly like, intense. I mean, it's probably a bit funnier. I don't know on purposely, but it, it's on the funnier side of Goosebumps episodes, so it, it, it's okay. 
it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and tune in tomorrow for the next one. And have a good day.